We got this one from Bounding Into Comics. Twitch streamer Kai Sinet says he's rejected multiple stream requests from Kamala Harris, her presidential campaign, saying, I don't give an F. This is creepy stuff. I don't see Trump doing this. He may be, but I don't know that he is. No one's complaining about it. I've not had anyone from the Trump campaign offer us any money. And I'm kind of like, hey, 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 why not? You know, what if the Trump campaign came out and said, hey, why don't you guys post pro-Trump stuff? We'll pay you. I wouldn't take it. But I'm just saying Trump ain't seemingly doing this, I guess. But I, I also point out, too, for Tim Cast shows like for this one and for IRL, never accept money for appearances. I can't tell you how many times we've gotten people offering to give us money. Uh, hey, we'd like to sponsor the show. And I said, great. Here's our ad rates for a sponsor read. We rarely do them. So the only available dates will be like this. And for that, it's a premium. And they go, great. Here's what we want. We come on the show as the guest. And they go, eh, have a nice day. Never happening. We will never, never accept money for a guest slot on TimCast IRL. Never going to happen. Now, many streamers on the left would gladly take the money from the likes of the Kamala Harris campaign, and they'll justify it. They'll say, but I like Kamala Harris. I wanted to win. So it's win-win. I'll tell you what I'll do. YouTube can automatically put ads on this channel for Kamala Harris. I welcome them to do it because the people watching these videos ain't going to be swayed to Kamala Harris, and then they're going to watch me rag on her all the same. I welcome the debate, and thanks for the money. Here's the story. Massively popular Twitch streamer Kai Sinat has claimed to have received multiple stream requests from Kamala Harris's presidential campaign, all of which he supposedly rejected because he does not give an F about politics. Sinet revealed the Harris campaign's apparent interest in partnering with him during an August 6th live stream, which for reference purposes was titled Bought a New House, House Tour, Click Here, Elite Gamer, Biggest Dwarf Athlete. Therein, per a montage of clips taken from live stream, which as of writing is still currently in progress, and, assemb and assembled by the internet content aggregator Fearbuck, the streamer amidst an angry outburst reveal. On top of that, I got the effing Secret Service calling me five times. I don't know GD-ish about politics. I know I don't know nothing. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm going to keep it a stack, he added. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't give an F, okay? Providing further details on the widespread effort to use a celebrity to try and grift votes of young, younger Americans. So net further detailed, listen. I had a bad B that I had been trying to get on like for like the last three, the last two years. I haven't spoken to in like a year. I haven't spoke to this girl in so GD long. And she had the audacity to text me. We need you a part of the campaign. At first, I thought she was talking about a game, a video game, like a modern warfare game or some ish. Or if not that, a clothing brand. I'm like, what campaign? I were following a brief tease of Shorty going to say. Sinet then laughed and admitted, ha, we not going to get into details. Returning to the general topic of the Harris campaign outreach, Sinet then affirmed, I'm going to say it right now. If this some way, somehow, something happens and I go into streaming politics, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to sit on my stream and say, why did you guys call me? You know, like, I don't know. I've never done anything about politics. All these blogs are like trying to say, yo, you got to do this, Ish Kai. And it's all the top blogs. And I'm like, bro, since when? <laughs> I like this guy. I don't care if it's Trump or Kamala. If the dude doesn't want to be in politics, respect. Notably, when Sinet did not drop Harris's name specifically, given both the recency and seemingly desperation of the request made to him, it's easy to infer that Vice President is, in fact, a candidate seeking to partner with him. <clears throat> Interestingly, Sinet's revelation regarding the Harris's campaign's apparent attempt to reach younger voters by collaborating with a popular internet personality comes just one day after streamer Aiden Ross hosted former President Trump for an interview, which notably saw Ross give Trump both a Rolex day date watch, about 40K dollars minimum, and a cyber truck, minimum 80K, and his own personal channel. Well, I'll stress this. Did Kai Sinet say that it was Kamala Harris specifically? Because they, they, they keep saying this. I mean, it's, this is the report that it's Kamala Harris specifically. We have this uh, fans demand sleepover stream with, Kamala's, with Kamala to counter Aiden's MAGAfest. Maga this is why everybody's saying it was Kamala, because TMZ reported this. Kai Sinet petitioned to interview Kamala Harris after Aiden Ross. Fans apparently, now Kamala Harris has no choice but to do a stream with Kai Sinet. This is likely why he got a message from a girl and likely why, I think it's fair to say it was Kamala. Because he's getting just hit up by all these people. Well, here you go. This was also reported last night. Democrats 
turn to influencers to help share their message on social media. As social media feeds have become key battlegrounds in the race for the White House, Democrats are deploying a fleet of influencers to try to win over online uh, voters online. Awa Sana made a name for herself for beauty tips on TikTok when the 23 year old posted a video of her White House bathroom break. Half a million followers took notice. I was just shocked. I was like, did you see that marble? Sana or Sana, how do you pronounce it, was one of a few dozen social media influencers who were invited to the White House to watch the State of the Union address and meet President Biden. He said to us, like, the collective presence in this room has more viewership on Gen Z than all of traditional media combined. She first heard from Democratic super PACs and then the Biden administration after posting a video following the fall of Roe v. Wade went viral. They started inviting me to their White House briefings on abortion rights, reproductive rights, Santa said. On the right, TPUSA has mobilized influencers for years, raising nearly 200 million since 2020. To be fair, TPUSA is independent, though, but they're pro-Trump for sure. Now, Democratic organizations are flooding the creator community with cash and providing behind the scenes access. We just have to be working with them. And if not, we're missing a huge way that voters are getting information about the world, said Rob Flaherty, who ran digital strategy in the Biden White House and now for the presidential campaign of Vice President Kamala Harris. He called the highly memeable Harris. (coughs) (laughs) Not in a good way, dude. A massive asset as the campaign reached out to thousands of influencers. Here's here's a, a, a thought for you guys. Did you see that New York mag of Kamala on the coconut? I'm going to pull that one up. Kamala coconut. And uh, coconut tree meme. Where's the uh, it was New York magazine, wasn't it? It's not popping up. There we go. Is is this the so oh, man? I can't believe they made this. Are they really now? Is it really? They're making it hard to find this. Let's do this. Let's do X.com. Why is everyone talk uh, coconut trees, coconut tree uh, magazine cover? They're really trying to make it hard, for, hard to find this. This is this is wild. I got you, though. I got you. Let me uh, let me tell you something. New York Mag putting Kamala Harris on a giant coconut. Everybody started posting a dung beetle on a giant piece of dung. Did you notice they made her head really big? I'm just wondering why they made her head really big. You want to talk about memeable? Just here's what you do. Anytime there's a video clip or picture of Kamala, Photoshop her head to be slightly bigger, just a little bit, just a little bit bigger. So it's noticeably large compared to her body, but you don't really notice completely. Just make her head a little bit. Bigger. That's what the New York Magazine did. They, it's clearly not her body. They photoshopped a head, her head onto this body, but they made her head really big. <laughs> it's very strange. Also, I love the anger and dancing down by the Democrats on the bottom. I don't know. It's very silly. You want to call that memeable? I call that memeable. They're going to say in May, Future Forward, the Super PAC supporting Harris, hosted panels like Gaming the Algorithm and How Advocacy Can Benefit Your Business. A spokesperson for the PAC did not respond to a request for comment. Sene said that she was hired last month by Protect Our Care, a progressive advocacy group that relies on anonymous donors. She made a video warning about Trump's second term agenda and that she says the group helped her script. OK, well, to be fair, independent. If it's not the Democrat campaign, if Harris isn't doing it directly, then I don't say I don't think it's too dissimilar to what TPUSA or any other group may do in trying to work with influencers. While Sene would not say how much she's being paid, she did note a video just for a creator in my size. An average can go from 3,000, 10,000 and upwards. When it comes to hawking commercial products or sharing financial advice, federal rules require influencers disclose when they are being paid. But in a rule in rulemaking last December, the Federal Election Commission voted against similar requirements for influencers spreading political messaging. I will warn you all of this, my friends. If you have a YouTube channel or a social media channel, most of them require you to be a certified advertiser before making political election campaign ads. So when I uh, when we're running ad uh, an ad a single ad for Timcast IRL because I included uh, the list of episodes which said the word Trump they said you can't run the ad I have to be a certified election advertiser to mention the word Trump in an ad even passively in the back corner like not even part of the ad so we just removed the episode details and just have me sitting in a chair probably could be more effective if uh, we did it some other way uh, that being said. If you are paid by a political campaign and you do an ad read on your show, you are subject to the same rules. 
You're an advertiser making a political ad. Your episode will get you'll get a strike. So one thing people understand is that community guidelines on YouTube aren't the only rules for getting strikes. The advertiser guidelines apply to you as YouTubers all the same. I don't know about Twitch, but if a young leftist YouTuber does an ad for Kamala Harris paid and YouTube finds out, theoretically, it's supposed to be a strike or a removal requiring you to submit your ID and your EIN and all of these things to get certified. That being said, I'm willing to bet that YouTube just looks the other way and lets them do it. Because that's the name of the game, isn't it? That's the name. That's how they run these things. For Sana, her next stop is the Democratic National Convention, where she and other influencers have been invited to make more content. They just told us that if we wanted to put on our show, that they would give us all the resources to do that. Now, I'd like to just uh, ask, why did not the RNC do something similar? And I mean it. You don't got to pay us. But I w- we went to the RNC and we had an off-site location because we want to do a live show. It would have been impossible to do an on-site location. But the podcasts were in a separate building. They had three buildings. It was the Panther building, I think they called it. And that's where like War Room was. So when I went to the RNC and we were showing up and I got all these personalities who were like, oh, Tim Cass is here. Like, hey, good to see you. Where's your show at? And I was like, oh, we're way off site at a different hotel. And there I, I was asked like three times, what? Well, why didn't you just do the show here? And I was like, well, we couldn't. We didn't, there's no, we didn't have the resources. And they're like, what, what do you mean? Like the RNC didn't offer Tim Cast IRL a space to do the show? And I was like, no. People were actually shocked. The assumption was, and I'm not saying we deserve it. What I'm saying is we, I bumped into a lot of people because I didn't even think about it who were shocked that corporate press were given all of these special uh, boxes overseeing the convention. And Tim Cast IRL was not there at all, was not offered a space, was not asked to be there, was not offered up guests. And I'm like, yeah, no, we, we did everything on our own. No, 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 you know, don't get me wrong. Like Laura Trump was fantastic. And she did in the end, like try to help us out and, and see if we needed space and all that stuff. But the assumption was shows like War Room, uh, Jack Posobiec's uh, show on human events, Tim Cast IRL or Steven Crowder. The assumption from a lot of people was that the RNC would have reached out to us and said, do your shows at the convention intentionally. I just said, yes. If they said, we've got a booth for you. In the convention hall, in the actual uh, Fiserv building, I would have been like, wow, let's roll. Then we would have had guests who were at the convention. We would have been live from 8 to 10, 7, 7 to 9 central. But with the convention happening, with the convention, actually, instead, we weren't. Now, one of the big issues for us was that of the space that we could, we could have gotten, we wanted to do a live show and we had people come out and pay, pay for tickets to hang out with us. Mike Lindell was there and talk about everything in Milwaukee which was an opportunity for people visiting the state for the RNC delegates to actually come. And so I think it worked out. We could have done that if we were at the actual RNC. But my 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 question is, uh, man, RN Republicans, stop being behind the curve. You know, the DNC is going to do this and they're doing it now. So pay attention. This is what you got to do. My friends, I'm going to wrap up this segment here. For those that are watching live, we will jump to your super chats and comments. For everybody else, we'll be back for Timcast IRL at 8 p.m. tonight. Smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on X and Instagram at Timcast. Follow at Boonies HQ on Instagram for fun shenanigans, skateboarding, and silly jokes. We're going to be uh, building that channel up. Just uh, having fun silliness. A lot of skateboarding, though. So I recommend it if you're into that and uh, become a member at TimCast.com to support our work directly because we can't do this without you. If you hate, let's do it. Let's do the spiel. Let's wrap up with the spiel. My friends, we are facing smear merchants, deceivers and manipulators in the corporate press every single day. And they're lackeys who are democratically aligned media personalities who lie to win political power. Certainly, I think it is important that those of good merit and virtue win political power. But unfortunately for us in this world, we have honor. And I know it's a good thing to have honor, but I say unfortunately because it means we're not going to lie, cheat and steal in the same way, though they'll accuse us of it. If you think Tim Cast does a good job of pushing back on the lies from the corporate press and breaking down the news and offering up good insight, then there's something you can do to help make a difference. Go to TimCast.com, click join us, and for 10 bucks a month, 
the cost of only a few cups of coffee, you can help us join in this fight and support the show and our cultural endeavors and make this work. Because without your support, the corporate machine, the rigged YouTube machine, the social media censorship will weigh down those seeking to call out the fake news lies. So become a member today and you too can be a part of that fight. And there's the spiel. Thank you so much, everybody. We will be uh, back at 8 p.m. And for everybody else, I'll read your super chats right now.